Welcome everyone to a short Star Wars Dolder Public video and in this video we're going to be updating you guys on the new cartel market items coming with patch 5.4. I did a video just about a day ago which was showing off some of those items but I mentioned that we don't exactly know if those items are coming in the same pack or if they're going to be coming out in just future packs. All we know is those are items coming during patch 5.4. But with this update we have uh, more images regarding the mounts and stuff but also we have a little bit more confirmation in terms of what's coming out in the single cartel pack. So these are the items that are coming out of the press Precious Cargo Pack. That is the cartel pack that will be released with patch 5.4 on August 22nd. And what you guys see right here is the image of the cartel pack itself, which shows us a lot of what's coming out of it. We see the three armor sets there, the Shikawakan Royalty, the Keeper of Iocath, and the Diligent Engineer showcased right at the front. Oh, we see that pistol there, so we are going to be getting those kind of pirate-themed weapons. Uh, we see the Banshee Companion License. We see a mount there that we'll talk about later. But one thing I want to quickly mention about the image is we do see the effect of the tuning itself. So that gun there, you see that's using the indigo weapon tuning that's going to be the new tuning released and basically it just looks the exact same as the overcharged weapon tuning i think it has a little bit more of a smoky haze effect though but it's just basically the overcharged weapon tuning with a purple color that's all it is so nothing too special there it's just for people i guess that wanted it to be purple color instead of the red that it comes with uh, but I mean it's a relatively popular tuning it's not as bad as something like the strap attachment tuning which didn't do too well but um Either way, that's what it's going to look like, going to appeal to some people. Personally, I like the red color better than the purple color. Anyways, we have new images of the armor sets itself. So this is a new image of the Shikawaka and Royalties armor set. Definitely looks a lot nicer in this picture, but I'm still not crazy about the armor set itself. But they're obviously showcasing here that the helmet is very much meant for Twi'lex. That's kind of the species it's meant for, which is kind of weird. I mean, they've never really released an armor piece that was just geared towards one specific species before. So, uh, but anyways, there's the armor set there. I'm personally not a big fan of it, but some people were mentioning in the video I did about Dago that, that they actually really enjoy the armor set. So that's going to be pretty cool. Definitely a gold armor set. And here we have the Keeper of Iocats armor set. Now this one's really interesting because what you guys see in the background is all those blue bolts are flying off. And I, once again, I'm not sure if that is a visual effect associated with the armor set or if they just put it there to make the armor set look better kind of in the background. But it would be really cool if that's actually a visual effect associated with it. I mean, when you activate your weapon or whatever, your armor starts shooting out blue bolts. It would be very similar to the volatile weapon tuning because that's exactly what the volatile weapon tuning does to your weapon. Uh, if you if you um, equip it, basically it would just shoot blue bolts out of your lightsaber or out of your gun or whatever. And so if they actually did that with an armor set, then that would be phenomenal. Like I would pick up that armor set so quickly. That would be easily one of my favorite armor sets. Uh, just I'm a sucker for these visual effects, man. So it wouldn't be the first time they've done it, and I, I just kind of love that stuff. Also, the Shikawakan Royalty has this kind of red thing coming out the back. I'm not sure what that is indicating, but we'll have to see what happens when we get it in game. And then we have the Diligent Engineer's armor set, as I mentioned in the other video, nothing too special, I just really like the upper body armor, and that's actually one reason why they're probably showcasing it in the original image, like that's right at the front there, it's actually quite a nice looking upper body armor. That's probably going to be silver, which is interesting as well. Uh, we have two new weapons that were data mined here. Now, this one is an assault cannon and the other one, it looks like a sniper rifle. I don't think that's a blaster rifle, uh, but it's really cool. I don't know what effect is going on there. It seems to be like this kind of blue HUD that's enveloping the entire uh, weapon. I'm not sure if these are going to be platinum or silver. I mean, we already had the sniper rifles and the assault cannon data mined. So the other ones that were data mined look like those are going to be the silver ones. These one actually might be platinum considering they have a really nice effect associated with it. But a lot of this depends on what it actually looks like in game, but just in the image itself, it looks really cool. So that is something that is definitely a new and exciting. And I'm not sure because we are, obviously we have the Mischief and the Anarchy Blaster Pistols. Now those are Platinum and those were only released in one cartel pack. So I would be assuming that they would also show up in this cartel pack, but who knows? Maybe they just wanted to release those Platinum items in one cartel pack and then release these Platinum items in the newest one. I will have to wait and see. But these are definitely some really nice looking weapons. And if those are silver, that is going to be awesome. Like I would really hope that they also release a Blaster Pistol version and a Lightsaber version and some other really cool stuff with this. It's a really nice and unique design, so I'm definitely excited about those. In terms of the mounts, I had already talked about the names before, but now we have images. We have the Voracious Womp Rat. I would assume this is going to be Silver Rarity because we already have a Silver Womp Rat and this one's nothing too special. Uh, we have the Swamp Slybex, so this is a new beast mount. Uh, this is going to be most likely gold. Uh, looks rather nice. I'm a, I always love new beast mounts and we have never seen this before. Uh, it's also probably going to be a beast on the Embaran planet that we fight, so it's kind of cool that we get to ride one as well. Uh, we have the Obsidian Mantor. This one's also a new beast mount, most likely going 
going to be gold. It goes off of the same structure as like the oro bird and the other types of birds that we have, the raptors as well. But it it's actually has some really cool aesthetic, uh, un unique stuff to it, like those claws, the pink color, all that stuff. So it's cool, but it's all the, don't expect these to do well. Like these are not like going to be millions of credits on the GTN. They're most likely going to drop to like one to two million credits in that range, which goes to show that it's going to be a cool mount, but it's still going to be relatively affordable. So nothing to buy the pack for. You can easily get these off of the GTN if you have like a decent amount of credits. And then here we have the Chirka Bobber. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of it. Like I already knew it wasn't going to be too good. Uh, this just looks like a really generic mount. Uh, it's not necessarily a reskin. It's a pretty unique design. I just never going to see myself using this and I don't see many other people using it as well. Maybe newer players who don't have access to those many mounts, but most of us ha already have our favorite mounts and this is nothing too special to get excited for, in my opinion anyway. And then we have the two pets here. So we have the Swamp Slybex pet and the Indigo Mantor pet. So those are the um, new items. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. Um, but uh, once again, we'll have to see a lot of this stuff in game. It's not definitely not one of their best cartel packs, but um, I'm actually quite like the armor sets now. Slowly they're growing on me, and if they have visual effects associated with them, I'm gonna go crazy. And then those new weapons were kind of cool. The mounts are just so meh, though. I'm uh, nothing too exciting about the mounts there. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the in the comment section below. Are you guys excited for those weapons? Do you think they'll be platinum or silver? Uh, that's going to be a good question. And uh, hopefully we'll get the, these items added to collection so we can get kind of a finalized look at what the new cartel pack is. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.